Well, you guys have been asking for it forever. So we're gonna try to work on the 64 Galaxy again. Now our goal in this video is to try again to get the engine unstuck. Now before we use like, I think we use Marvel Mystery Oil to put it down on the cylinder. So a lot of you guys have said, you know, try other stuff, try vinegar, CLR, whatever, you know, I don't know, all kinds of things. So we're gonna revisit trying to get this engine freed up. And uh, if we can't get it freed up, then I guess we're gonna pull the engine out of it and do something different. But I'm hoping we can get this engine freed up. We're gonna try some new things. So for those of you that don't know, this is our 64 Galaxy wagon. Uh, it's a 289 with a three speed in the floor. Used to be column shifted car. Somebody put a Hurst floor shifter, which is awesome. That's the only reason I bought the car because it was a wagon with a floor shifter. So uh, it'll be really cool if we can get it running with the old you know, manual on the floor. But uh, in older videos, we, it showed us getting this car out of the junkyard. Uh, we also made a video of cleaning it up and trying to get the engine freed up. So you can go back and watch those if you haven't seen them. But uh, we got to pull it around there. It still has no brakes, but it does roll. So we're going to use this thing to pull it around there. You think it'll hold? Probably not. Maybe. Maybe it'll hold. If mom's not towing, maybe it'll hold. <laughs> <laughs> I just love this little thing. Uh, I hurt my hand. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, I guess I gotta get a door prop rod out. Uh, out of gear, maybe. Now I, I can put it in gear. There you go. Yeah, this thing has no brakes at all. Oh, hang on to that door there. <laughs> all right, follow me. Trailer hitch was good enough to do it. <laughs> the motor home, like, I mean, it did good once we got going. I couldn't even tell it was back there, you know, the old line everybody says. Man, you get your toesies hot when no doghouse on it. Well, <laughs> it's got dark on us, and obviously this car's sitting outside, so we're gonna come back. Rocky's gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go watch Jeopardy and uh, hit the Vianas. We'll revisit this when the sun comes out. Well, it's the next day, and let me show you what we're working with here. So, if you hadn't watched the old videos, this is a 289, and you can see it is absolutely terrible. Look at that cylinder back there. I mean, this thing sat with the spark plugs out of it, and, you know, not much exhaust on it, so... It has really, really got a lot of stuff in the board. So we're gonna clean out some of the big chunks of rust out of here. And then we're gonna put some stuff down in here to see if we can break this rust loose and finally get this motor freed up. So here's one last shot of this before we start cleaning it out. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen an engine uh, so nasty inside the bores, especially that guy back there. But let's get the shot back out here and vacuum out as much junk as we can out of this thing.
So that's the worst cylinder right there. And honestly, I feel like that's the one that was giving us the most grief. But they're all pretty bad. You can see, even after we vacuumed them, how much rust is still in them. So, they're all pretty equally nasty. But uh, the other video, we put Marble Mystery Oil down in it, like I said. And we cranked for all we were worth on the uh, bolt on the end of the crankshaft and never could get this thing to break loose. So now we're going to use some chemicals. So we're going to pour some chemicals down in this these bores and see if we can get them unstuck. So here's what we're going to try. We got some uh, vinegar and we're going to pour it down in these cylinders. And it seems like it takes a while, like at least, you know, probably let it sit for like 24 hours. And maybe, just maybe it'll eat our rust up. You want to give us a good whiff of that? Mm, no thank you. Alright, might as well start with the worst one back here. I might brush it on there. The ones we can't do much. It just looks like water, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. This stuff is cheap too. It was like a dollar or something. Uh for one of these bottles, like it's probably the cheapest thing you can buy that's a liquid. <laughs> I'm gonna take a brush and try to get it up in here. I know it's not soaking it. It'd be great to have the engine on its side, like on an engine stand, you know, if it wasn't still in the car, to really soak one side and then do the other side, but we don't really have that option right now. Well, where'd you put it in? I put it in the boards. I feel like you should put it in other places also. This is like every there is. Port and everything? Yeah. All that. I'll make it up, yeah. Ralphie thinks we need to pour vinegar and other stuff, so we're going to put some on the lifters here. In case they're rusted up a little bit in there. He says it needs to go down through here. We're just going to go for it. So here's what it looks like after two hours of sitting. It looks like the cylinder wall's cleaner, I think. So now it's been two hours. Wall wall's out here scrubbing around on it, trying to get the vinegar up on the top to make sure it stays wet up there. We don't want it to dry out. Right, Wawa? Yeah. Do you think this is gonna work? Me? Think it's gonna free it up? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, it might. It's like a science project almost. We're really scientists, that's what we are. Yep. Yes, for sure. Scientists undercover. Undercover. Yeah, scientists undercover is exactly what we are. See any breaking the rust loose that was stuck in the bottom? Is it moving around? I mean, a little bit, but not as much as I would have thought, but there's still a little bit breaking up in there. So we're eight hours into our coverage here on this uh, deal. I think it's looking better. Looks like it's eating some of it up. We're gonna swish it around again. Make sure we keep the top of the boards wet. But you can see that it's bubbling. It's doing some work in there. It's gonna be really neat if this works. I'd be honestly surprised. If you can take like a dollar fifty worth of vinegar and unstick your engine. I'm surprised that the rings are holding it back that much. Like it's not getting down in the crankcase, you know? It must really be gunked up. That's not too fresh. No, it's yours. What are you doing? I can't really get out. Oh. So now we're at the 10 hour mark. It's getting dark outside, so this will probably be the last video I'll get of this tonight. But we'll see in the morning what this looks like. And then we'll see if we can get it to break loose after all this. Well, it's been 24 hours now. It's the next morning. And let's see what we got down in here. Well, I see some bubbles. I wonder how loose this is now. If that stuff is broke loose. It looks like I'm seeing shiny metal under there. See that? Look at the difference between where it wasn't submerged and where it was. Oh. It's like a perfect line. I hope it got down into the rings enough to, to break this thing loose. 
So it definitely helped to be submerged because you can clearly see the line here where it was submerged and where it wasn't. So let's get this all brushed out, cleaned out, and try to break this thing loose now. It's kind of greasy on top of those pistons. What is that right there? It's like a chunk of something stuck to the board. What is that? Oh, okay. It was a big chunk of rust that was still stuck on there. That would definitely mess things up. Yeah, look at it. Just wipe that rust away in there. It was all brown when I first started scrubbing. Now it's bare metal again. That's crazy how that works. This was the worst cylinder we had right here. We'll, we'll have to get all the fluid out of there and see what it looks like now. So here's what we've got in our worst cylinder. Uh, you can clearly see where the vinegar was at and where it wasn't there. And this is still pretty pitted right there. That's uh, not going to be very good for this process, but we'll see what we can do. It's, yeah, it's still pretty rough in this cylinder right here. Let me try this, Ralph. What's this? Toner, toner, something. Home. There you go. You got it. Yeah. Maybe it's down the bore far enough for me to get this in there. Can't really get much of a cross hatch on this because of how I don't have enough room to come up much, but maybe we can get some of that rust out of there. Well, here's what we got left with this back cylinder after we honed it. It uh, still looks kind of rough. Still pretty darn pitted, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to free up or not. Here's a look at some of the other cylinders. What they look like. Got a little bit of a ridge there, but it'll be fine. Here's the ones on the passenger side that we were able to hone. Man, don't, don't take your spark plugs out and leave it for 20 years or 30 years. Just don't do it, guys. It's not worth it, is it? No. Just leave them in there. Yeah, just leave your plugs in there. So, Ralphie, what I'm thinking is, we, don't, we know we don't have a working clutch because the rod from there to the throwout bearing arm is missing. So, I'm thinking we put it in gear and we rock this thing back and forth and see if we can break it loose that way. If that doesn't work, we'll... Go to the next step. I'm gonna check your facts on the shifter and see if you're... No, the shifter works. The clutch know, doesn't work. I'm, I'm checking your facts and see if you're in gear. Like, put it in second. Okay. Yeah, put it in okay. second. There, there you go. go. Yeah. You're in second. Thanks. That's fine. Don't worry about that.
Rocky, Rocky, don't don't eat the rags, please. Please don't eat the rags. It'll make you sick. Well, plan A failed. This is plan B now. anything moving. <laughs> Good thing you were standing back. That'll never happen again. it's gonna work guys this thing is just crazy stuck we'll try a couple more things we'll see if something else will work there you go you got out of gear yeah all right we're gonna roll this thing forward get it on the pavement see if we have any better luck there maybe try to pull it if we can't rock it out of get out of uh, okay. being stuck but two leg in there i can't see so we have no brakes all right turn it a little bit to the left that? I meant right. Sorry, I meant right. <laughs> you want me to put it in gear so it's not, not, not yet. Cut it back to the left just a little bit. Okay. Uh, put it in gear? Put it in gear, yeah. Granny, what are you doing? You know Bama planted those trees there, right? Well, preparations A through G have failed on this one. So our idea now is take some water to dissolve this white uh, vinegar we used to dilute it. And then I think we're gonna put muriatic acid in it. What do we got to lose at this point? I mean, we're scientists. We know what we're doing. Totally Rocky good. says it's okay. Right, Rocky? He's gonna act like he don't know nothing. So since Ralphie is only a junior scientist at this point, I'm gonna handle this part up close by myself. You don't want to breathe the fumes off of it. Probably shouldn't get it on your skin, stuff like that. Safety first. What's your vote? We set it on fire. Put like leaves and dry stuff all over it. Set it on fire. You think that worked? I think it really would actually. <laughs> I'm so I don't know if that's a good idea. So we're gonna leave this now for a couple hours. Most of what I've seen says leave it for a few hours. Uh, now this is diluted with water 50%. I should have said that earlier. But we're gonna leave it for a few hours and see what it does. We're gonna go down a livestock sale and when we come back, we'll see if we have an engine left or maybe we have a puddle in the driveway. Guys, we have to really watch mom while we're here, okay? Cause you know how- Don't you worry about me. You know how she, she gets at the livestock sale. We can't, 
we gotta keep a close eye on her. You can, you can watch me. I gotta, I'm no, a, no, no, uh, no. I'm a space of lemons. <laughs> we got enough animals to feed as it is. What's one more? I didn't bring my wallet, honey. I got mine. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. 75, 80. I think I'm the only one in here in flip flops. 95, 90, 95, 95, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, do you guys think we're gonna have any engine left after all this acid sitting there Maybe. for a couple hours? I don't have a driveway. I'm gonna have a, just a, a gully of dirt. <laughs> uh, I hope it didn't like melt the pistons. What do you think, Ralphie? I don't know. It might. Back at the compound here. Ooh, it's turned all gray. It's probably aluminum. But... Uh, maybe, possibly. I'm not sure. I don't know if that made let's, it better uh, or made it worse. I don't know. Let's let's neutralize the acid and see what we got. Here's a close up on it. It's still bubbling some. That looks like that time Mom left that uh stuff in the microwave too long you know so everything i've read says to use baking soda to neutralize the acid now and then we'll rinse it out with water look at, look at it pouring out That'd be good for the driveway. That's crazy. I've never, I've never watched it do that before in person. So now that we've tried to neutralize the acid with baking soda, we're gonna rinse this off of water and then clean these cylinders out and see what they look like. What is in there? Look at that. What is all that? Look at those chunks that are coming out. I guess that's the baking soda, huh? Maybe. Look at that, look at that big chunk. Well, let's see what we have here. It is definitely been chewing on that piston for sure but I mean I don't think it's melted it away it feels like it ate the rust out that was there that was sticking up and that would just have the pitting left here's an up close shot at it somebody tell me what made the side go orange like that with the acid I, I don't personally know but now we're gonna try again to see if we can break this thing loose a couple different ways it definitely was very aggressive on the aluminum pistons for sure because they're they're very very rough feeling when you touch them 
Ralphie thinks we should put a little PB blaster in it before we try it again. So give it a shot there, Ralphie. PB blaster works miracles, don't it? Yeah. I'm gonna go back with the hammer again. Now, a lot of these tips we actually uh, got from viewers. I forgot to probably mention that earlier, but uh, a lot of these were ideas you guys gave us on this engine. We're gonna step our game up here. Watch out, Ralphie. Well, I think, I think that's not gonna do anything. Uh, all right, let's try rocking it again, see what happens. There's no, there's no use. This thing is so stuck. I don't know. <sighs> we got a couple more things we can try before we completely give up on this engine. So let's try dragging it. We got her shoved up in second gear. Ralphie's gonna give us a yank. We have no brakes. I don't, I can't think of a single thing that would go wrong. You just slide? Yep. Get out of here. No, get out of here. Right, take it out of gear. No, you don't. Yeah, now you do. Okay, watch out, Ellie. Is it actually rolling? Yeah. That's pretty good. Put it in gear. Got gear? Nope. Now you do. You're done. This, this water pump is actually locked up as well. This is becoming a theme with this vehicle. So I'm gonna get the water pump out of our way so we can get a better shot at the crank. Let's try to turn it over by hand. I don't know why Ford thought they needed this many water pump bolts, but they did. Get out of there, dude. This pulley's already messed up. We have the biggest bar I could acquire well to the end of the crank snout. If this doesn't work, I don't know what else to try. We tried pretty much every idea you guys told us, so uh, let's get to jerking on this and see if we can get this engine broke loose finally. Right, let's, let's start with Ralphie Power. I'll stay back here in case you fall. You really like a, one of these. They're moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you get it broke loose? Alright, let's try the other way. 
Oh my gosh, Ralphie broke it loose. You gotta be kidding me. All that. <laughs> if Noodle Arms did the trick, are you kidding Noodle me? Noodle Arms broke it loose. I can't believe, I thought we were gonna have to at least get the wall wall power. Before. I thought we was gonna have to hook a chain to the end of the bar. Oh my gosh. So, let's try going the other way with it. They're all moving. Well, they have to, yeah. There's no other option. Wow. I don't think the last cylinder's moving. No, they're all, they're all moving. I can't tell. They have to be. They're all linked together with the crankshaft. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Look at that. So there you go, guys. If you try everything else, weld the bar to the end of the crank. Because in the first video, we put a breaker bar on this. And we put Marvel Mystery Oil down the cylinders. And I spun that breaker bar until I was going to snap the crank off, bolt off. And it never did anything. We tried everything else. I cannot believe you get that much leverage on something and it breaks loose. That's incredible. Ralphie power. That's all it really takes is Ralphie yeah. power. I was convinced we'd have to at least get to Wawa power stage <laughs> or mom power before we got it broke loose. But I cannot believe Ralphie power did it. Definitely going to have to get a new pulley for that thing, huh? Yeah. Wow. Just wow. We should have put you on it first thing. Mm-hmm. And two, we're never gonna hear the end of Ralphie working that loose. Right. That's true. That's a true statement. Let's turn all the way around. Yeah. Can you believe we got it turned over? No. No. Not at all. Like after all the things we tried, the months and months we've mess with this car trying to get it to turn over and we finally ralphie gets it to turn over <laughs> what's the odds huh? got, it kind of like is, is very very confusing i don't understand that i know it's crazy Who would have thought? So here's what this bore looks like the one that we got the worst one we got freed up it was almost at bottom dead center you can see now it's a little bit lower than bottom dead than it was before but yeah i mean we gotta get it running now, right? Yeah. We have to get it running. Um, that's probably gonna be a later video because if I do all the stuff of, you know, rebuilding the top end of this motor in this video, this thing's gonna be three hours long. But um, we finally got it broke it's loose. Crazy. I didn't think it was gonna happen. I never yeah. thought it would happen. Like, after all the work we've put into trying to break this thing loose, I did not think it was gonna come loose at all. She shook it. I just saw her shook it, shake it up. <laughs> I didn't know. Don't lie, you shook it. Rocky saw it. Rocky. Do it quick. Well, you know how we end our videos off around here? RC Cola and uh, Vanyas. Thank you, honey, for that. <laughs> here you go. But check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at... Oh, what? Sleeper Dude 88. Sleeper Dude 88. And our second channel... Sleeper Dude 2. You're talking no about spaces. Sleeper Dude 2. No spaces, 2. Number. Yeah, number 2. But we'll have more videos of this. Uh, I'm not sure yet if we're going to try to get it running the way it is or if we're going to try to rebuild this engine now that we got it freed up. It kind of be cool to see if, if it would run the way it is, really. Yeah. Uh, I kind of like to do that just to see how bad it, it actually runs the way it is. But uh, you can also see our merchandise down below if you want to get one of our t-shirts. we got a couple different ones. And what are you doing there? Pouring out from the home. Yeah. You gotta pour one out for your homies, guys. So, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, there'll be more videos to come with this one. You gotta save the station wagons. And it's a floor shifted station wagon. We still gotta get a couple parts to get it to the point where it's actually running and driving. So, I'm gonna get those parts ordered for this thing. Here you go. Oh, give it to Scooter. Poor Scooter. We got tons of other project vehicles around here, aside from just 64 Galaxies. Uh, we got the Thunderbirds, the Falcons, the Fairmonts, so stay tuned, the darts, all that. Come on, Wawa. Go for it. What's wrong with her? Can you shake? Shake. Good girl. And eat your vainas. It's the same as eating a steak. Yep. It's one of the primary food groups. Yes. Especially the bourbon barbecue ones. Up, up, up. Good girl. Stay tuned. What'd you do? You spilled it everywhere. <laughs> Man, she's good at catching that.